Welcome everyone. In this video, we're going to introduce social innovation, which will be the crucial term in this model. This is a broad concept that has been increasingly used by different disciplines in different ways these last years. However, the multiplicity of definitions and the vagueness of its boundaries can be at times confusing. Therefore, the goal of this section is to clarify the concept and its application. Our aim here is to provide a concrete and useful definition that can help us analyze and compare different initiatives that we will come across. With this purpose in mind, we first present a general approach to the term. Second, we introduce our own definition. And finally, we operationalize the concept based on five key variables, which, from our perspective at the Institute for Social Innovation, give sense and purpose to social innovation as such. As you will see, the use of these five variables will provide a general framework to understand social innovation when working on sustainable business models. Social innovation is a concept that can be useful in many different fields. It can be described as new ideas that work to meet pressing and met needs and improve people's lives. These ideas can be applied to urban agriculture, businesses, social integration practices, open knowledge initiatives, technology, and many other fields. At this point, it is important to highlight that, independently from the specific area of application, social innovation seeks to help solve real problems. That is to ultimately advance in the improvement of societies. Thus, its social aim becomes a central element in its definition. Following the previous framework, we understand social innovation as finding new ways of solving social problems. If we apply this concept in the context of sustainable business models, we will refer to those businesses or corporate practices which seek, solve or address needs that have not been covered. These solutions should not only be innovative, but put the focus in a social goal. The theoretical model we developed departs from the previous conception. When assessing or studying social innovation, we should be paying attention to five key variables. They will help us clarify the concept, know where the boundaries of social innovation are, know how we can measure its impact, and finally, know what are the key factors for success for any given initiative. The five variables we use are the following ones. First and foremost, social transformation and social impact. It basically means asking ourselves, how effective is the initiative at achieving the desired social transformation and resolving the problems it set out to address? This is providing metrics or evidence of its claimed social impact. Second, cross-sector collaboration. Who are the key stakeholders in ensuring that the initiative is successful? What were the mechanisms used to engage with them? Did we came up alone with this solution or did we incorporate their perspective on our initiative? Third, economic sustainability and long-term viability. How is the initiative funded? What are the strategies behind it? Does it depend on a third party financial assistance or is it economically self-reliant? Fourth, Type of innovation. Is the innovation closed or open to be replicated by others? Is the idea developed from an earlier concept or it is a radically new invention? What are its most innovative traits? Five, scalability and replicability. What is the potential for the initiative to expand and multiply? What conditions are required for it to be replicated in a different context? Remember the purpose of the theoretical model. The previous variables and the following questions should help us analyze the cases that we are going to see now.